So in advanced, you can change uh, to the low latency player. I would recommend you do that. Okay, make sure your low latency player is on. And when we're all cut up, talk about um, sexual breastfeeding. Mention sexual breastfeeding in the chat, and I'll know that we're caught up. That's also a company. Here we go. I don't need you anymore. Coming up, casual dining for the enlightened mind. I just had lunch at the Philosopher Cafe. It's like an Applebee's if Applebee's made you confront your own mortality. Which appetizer pays tribute to the father of existentialism? A thrice-baked Play-Doh potato, a Kant croissant with beef drizzles, a farmyard flatbread with Kierkegaard Swiss chard, or a cheese-blasted Hobbs corn on the cobs. I have no fucking clue, man. None. Okay, what'd you pick? Truth is subjective, but you're definitely wrong. Soren Kierkegaard is known as the father of existentialism because he gave birth to the concept with his brain, you know, like fathers do. Up next, we're listening, you're listening. Oh, all right, it's, it's one of these. Binge pipe huh? recommends. What'd you say? I'm because you've been diagnosed with hypoesthesia, we thought you would enjoy the song. Stressed out. What'd you say? I can't feel my face. Wake me up. Oh, or I cool for the summer. I like to think I'm actually being quiet. Crazy. Hope you like what you picked. Hypoesthesia is a lack of sensitivity to touch stimuli, so this song by The Weeknd is very relatable. What does Media the screw that do? Your senses is just they one told of the you. Many special the screw makes you force a player to answer if you think they don't know the question. Round one is officially behind us. Where is that beautiful scoreboard? Currently, mm. player six is in the lead. Speaking of the exact opposite of that, these players are doing the bad thing. We have some more screws to help our targeted numbers. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be afraid to use them. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. You're doing so well, Cookie. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade. Here's one for you. Playing with my pills. Once a year I organize my medicine cabinet, and I just like to put on little plays with pharmaceuticals. Well, if it isn't me old nemesis, acetaminophen. It's me, ibuprofen. But you might better know me as... Tylenol, Percocet, Aleve, or Advil. Well, well. Player 8 just let loose a screw. Say, can you answer a moving target? Okay, who chose what? 
Advil is one of the trade names for the pharmaceutical ibuprofen. Ibuprofen also masquerades as Motrin and Nurofen. Ibuprofen is to be taken for fever, menstrual cramps, and headaches caused by amateur theater. Nicely screwed, Playrate. Enjoy your cash. Las Bears se moque de moi. Set. Take a good look at... You can't curse in heaven. If Kristen Bell's character from the sitcom The Good Place read the Pulitzer Prize winning novel The Good Earth, how would she likely describe it? It's about forking Chinese farmers. It's some bullshit set on a rocket ship. It follows an ash hole through the American Revolution. Or the French ghost is a total bench. Okay, let's take a look. Pearl S. Box The Good Earth has the word Earth in the title, which totally made you guess it's some kind of space book. It's not. <laughs> You're going to the bad place. <laughs> Pearl S. Buck's 1931 novel The Good Earth takes place in turn of the century China. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Introducing, what is vexing brother Josh? And oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a flicker is Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, get ready. Take a look at the gibberish phrase and tell me which popular advice it rhymes with. Bro Josh been too chagrined. And don't worry about that punctuation. Bro Josh been too chagrined. Disregard the risk. Bro Josh. And do the thing that could end badly. Josh been too chagrined. Bro, Josh been too chagrined. Toss your worries into a gale. Let's see how you did. Player five. Looks good to me. At least one of you got it. <laughs> Only one person right got along. it. It's time for Disem Vowled. Which of these serial killers was executed by a literal game of hangman in 1896? John Way, N. Gase, of Am, Jack the Ripper, or Olmes? I love this part. You choked. The letter missing is H, and H.H. H. Holmes was hung in 1896 for killing somewhere between 20 and 200 people. I once applied to be an executioner's assistant back when I was desperate for work, but apparently beggars can't be noosers. And now, singles night at the watering hole. Picture it, a suitor with an impressive neck beard decides to go full <laughs> alpha and approach the fastest mammal at the bar. He tips his fedora and says, Milady, Malayan, Malama, or Maleopard Seal. And how 
what do we do? Alpaca it in and go home. <laughs> Seals swim at an impressive rate, but not enough to seal the deal. Lions have been clocked running 50 miles per hour in short sprints. <laughs> Sorry, animals, it's closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't graze here. You made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. We may you. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. My signature look. I'll give you an article of clothing. You name the cartoon character that traditionally wears it. Good luck. One takes it! Excellent job, player one. You won by so much, I'm jealous. Then again... You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hi, I'm S and I wrote the hangman question about serial killers <laughs> from this episode and most other serial killer trivia in this game. Also, I'm the author of several serial killer essays for online channels that are blocked at this point. <laughs> I often... Welcome to Binge Pipe. If you're looking for that one program you wanted to watch, it's no longer here. <laughs> Before Binge Pipe, there was nothing for me. Now, I see everything. And it's too much. I, I know too much. Why are there so many? Binge Pipe. Is that it? Are we done? There you go. Here's a look at just some of the quality. Binge Pipe is not being coerced into introducing You Don't Know Jack. Oh, they're not? That's, 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 Binge that's Pipe. good. Binge Pipe. No crimes have been proven. Oh, that's also Welcome to the game, I'm your host, Cookie, and if you mute me, I will find out about it. Everyone in? 
I didn't think you knew this many people. And I see we've got some gawkers in the audience, which means I'll be adding an audience bonus to every yeah, people question. people can join the audience the at the any audience time. The audience does on a question, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the Suck audience really teeth. whiffs it, that right Suck answer is going to be worth teeth. major moolah. Sucking my tits. Let's hit it. Let's forge ahead. Start game. question one. To get things rolling. Ain't no party like a political party because a political party is carefully mediated. In high school, I did some embarrassing things at my model UN club, but only one of these stories about my interactions with Icelandic leadership is accurate. I tripped over the president and fell on the king. The prime minister and the queen stole my lunch. The president told the prime minister I like, liked her, or the czar was cool, but the archbishop gave me a wedgie. Anyone here live in Iceland? Peter. What'd you guys pick? In Iceland, the president is the head of state, but the prime minister leads the government. Fuck. Thus, I was booted out of the model UN and thrown into the replica Hague. And how'd the audience fare? So, not the smartest group then. That means the right answer is worth a little extra. Sorry. Buy yourself something nice. Very particular fetish. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So this came out in 2018. We definitely Here we need have. One. I remember when reality TV was about something. It's amazing to me that Survivor is still on the air. I honestly thought they would run out of islands by now. If Survivor shot a season on the largest island of debris in the ocean, what would that season be called? Survivor Great Atlantic Garbage Patch, Survivor Great Indian Garbage Patch, Survivor Great Pacific Garbage Patch, or Survivor Great Arctic Garbage Patch? More like Garbage Patch Kids. Got him. Who picked what? Coined the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, the world's largest collection of ocean garbage, which is roughly the size of Texas, is located in the Pacific Ocean. Good God, I love watching garbage on TV. What, like you? Got him. Why do we do it with cream? Cooking with lumber. Behold, market fluctuation, the ride. And buckle in because it's time for a diss or dat. A diss or dat? More like a piss or pat. Got him. I'm going to read seven names, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's a cryptocurrency, you know, like ah! or a roller coaster <laughs> ride at a Six Flags amusement park. It's Answer too quick. You only have a few seconds to choose between. I'm used to these a being 90s questions. Or a roller coaster. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. Nitro! Fuck. Uh, hey, and this is 2018 crypto, too, so... Oh! Okay. Ethereum! Wizard! Let's go to Dash Pond, guys. Ripple! Oh, fuck. I hit the wrong button. God damn it. Bizarro! Bizarro, more like Bafaro. Does that work? Rusher. All right, a majority of you deserve my praise, but player eight, you couldn't have done much worse. Customer satisfaction seems Morse, to have dipped. Suck. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players. Fine, we'll skip it. 
<laughs> Happy to engage with you. You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question for. Oh, here's a good one. For sure. Uh -oh. Celebrities are just like us. They love cloaking themselves in garlands of animal fur for fancy oh, no. winter parties. Which celeb is not wearing a member of the Mustelid family? Pink in mink, Vin Diesel wrapped in weasel, Cindy Sherman wearing ermine, or Ghostface Killa in chinchilla? Hmm. So what'd you pick? Weasels, minks, and ermine all belong to the mustelid family, while a chinchilla is a rodent. Just a friendly reminder that if you turn your ferret into a coat, it's irreversible. I wish someone had told me that 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago? Holy shit. This one's known as Thank God it's Friday the 13th. Thank God I'm gonna die. What type of summer camp would be terrorized by Jason Voorhees? A band camp, a math camp, a swim camp, or a computer I camp? I swear to God if I just hit the wrong button because of my big sausage Italian fingers, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. Jason Derulo! Let's see who got it. The entire Friday oh, the 13th horror God. saga started with a young Jason Voorhees drowning in the lake. But that's not what we're talking about here. That's what I thought I clicked. Okay. JSON is a computing term meaning JavaScript object notation. I could easily explain it to you, but what do you know? We don't have the time. Shout out in to the, the first film, the killer is actually JSON's motherboard. I took I took three years of computer Round science. one is over. Let's take a look at those scores. I can't program for shit. Currently, player three is in the lead. And down here, these players are making everyone feel bad. Yeah. When the going gets tough, the tough gets more screws. And remember, round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question I wrong. Hope so don't forget to use them. The rest dinner. of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? It's like the first round didn't even matter. Six trombones is not a parade. Coming up next, are you gonna eat that? Hey. My dick? I have some boiled horse bones. I heard you love boiled horse bones. You can't get enough of those boiled horse bones. Want some? Yummy Haribo gummy bears, sweet, sweet Swedish fish, tasty strawberry Twizzlers, or apples. Brace yourself. <laughs> Player 7 unleashed that screw. Who else is tired of these boring old names? Let's see how that shook out. This snack is good, but could use some boiled horse bones. <laughs> While these other candies are vegan, gummy bears are traditionally made with gelatin, which is derived from boiled animal bones, ligament, and tissue. What a fun snack to remind you of how you always wanted a horse, and that sometimes dreams have a funny way of coming true. Yeah, good thinking with that screw player seven. Have some cash. Oh, and I see we have some name changes. I'd call that an improvement. I'm Monkey Buns. Mon béret a rétréci. Sit. Sit. I call this one Color Wheel. Which unlikely cartoon couple would combine to form complementary colors? Pikachu and Big Bird, Shrek and Sonic the Hedgehog, a Minion and the Pillsbury Doughboy, or Cookie Monster and Chester Cheetah. I love this part. 
Well, I have definitely Portal. written some fan fiction about this. Complementary colors are opposite on the color wheel. For instance, blue and orange. Portal. They could also bond over their unhealthy eating habits. Hey, question. The algorithm demands your input. Would you like a question where everything is spelled correctly? Or a question where everything is spelled incorrectly? Use your device to select your preference. What the fuck? We have a tie. We'll pick one ourselves and ignore this chilling failure of the democratic process. Twas then I learned to heed the winds I can't believe it was a perfect tie. That's nuts. Here's one I like to call a question where everything is spelled correctly. In which movie does everything get destroyed at the end? The Road, Doctor Strangelove, I Am Legend, or One Direction, This Is Us? Okay, let's take a look. You will recover from this. In the final scene of this Stanley Kubrick film, the Earth gets bombed to smithereens. Just like our spell check while writing this question. Let's try the mythological Becky. You know Becky, right? With the good hair, the bad guy from Beyonce's Lemonade album. Well, if Beyonce wrote a song about Becky with the Gorgon hair, what type of hair would Becky have? Hair made of blue flames, hair made of solid stone, hair spun from solid gold, or hair made of snakes? Hope you like what you picked. Yeah, way to be wrong. The Gorgon sisters, three mythological creatures, including Medusa, had hair made of venomous snakes. Which leads me to my newest parody song. <clears throat> all the serpent ladies, all the serpent ladies. Yes, all the serpent ladies. Ooh, I was raised by a Why not try, when you're here, you're damned. Let's say Greek mythic figure Tantalus is enduring his eternal punishment at an olive garden. What's the big difference in his never ending pasta bowl? It's made out of people. It's always just out of reach. It tastes like ashes or he can never stop eating it. picked what? That happened to me once, and my Yelp review was scathing. As punishment, Tantalus stood beneath a branch of fruit that moved away when he reached for it. Ooh. You want torture? Try getting a third helping of breadsticks on a Friday night. I can see them in the kitchen! Ow. Welcome to the attack. When you we see... Well, excuse me for living. Here's your clue. Oh. M is for middle name. It's weird to see these famous people without their signature middle name. Good luck.
like that. Those are fun. Monkey Buns wins! I'm Monkey Buns. Nicely done, Player One. You won by a ton, but at the end of the day, you're only human, right? 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 You don't know Jack! I'm Monkey Buns. Enjoy this exclusive behind the scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Let's see. Mm. Well, funny story. I was actually eating gummy bears when I read that boiled horse bones question. And I gotta say, didn't bother me at all. <laughs> Not at all. Mostly because I was also eating a horse sandwich at the time mm. with a side of horse juice. Oh, yeah, you, you, you gotta get the horse juice on the side to get the full experience. D it doesn't matter what brand. Horse juice. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content. Horse juice. Horse juice. Horse juice. Oh, oh god, no. No, no, I'm changing. Something's happening to all the boys at Rosedale High. Yeah, it's puberty. I thought this would have happened sooner. <laughs> I've never told anyone that before. Not even my mom. Because I feel so close to you, Jennifer. My name is Kendall. Whoops-a-doodle. Johnson, step into my office, now. You smell that? Step out and then back in. Right? Or is it just me? Objection. Your Honor, this witness is clearly just a tugboat in a trench coat. It's your old pal Schmitty on Binge Pipes You Don't Know Jack Oldies Radio. Our request lines are open, so if you've got a classic You Don't Know Jack commercial you'd like to hear, just send us a request in the mail and we should get it. Eventually. Things take a while to get to the right place around here. Anyway, here's a classic talk block of your favorite old You Don't Know Jack commercials. How many times has this happened to you? Daddy, what's the difference between absolute and relative surplus value according to Marx? Uh, go play with this ball, honey. Middle class buffoon. Well, it won't happen again. Look what I have for you, sugar. The illustrated Das Kapital. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> You're welcome, sweet. The brightly colored pictures help me understand the general law of capitalist accumulation. Uh -huh. And the pop-up stick figures tell me all about heterogeneous and serial manufacture. Yep. There's even a scratch and sniff chapter about machinery and modern industry. That's right, honey. Daddy, you're the greatest. Now, can you tell me how the expression of female sexuality can challenge the patriarchal order? <laughs> I love you, pumpkin. The Illustrated Das Kapital. Also available, the Gross Anatomy Book of Coyote Dolls and the Kama Sutra Playset. The Kama Sutra Playset? <laughs> Fuck off. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I love you, Uno Jack, so much. All right. I gotta go. The Kama Sutra playset. Holy shit. Binge Pipe. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm gonna do something else now. Fucking fucko, you... Fucking fucko, you fucko, fucking, you fucking fucko. You fucking, you fucking, you fucking, ah, uh, you fucking fucko. Fucko, you're a, you're, don't forget the, the fucking horse juice, you're a fucko. You fucking fuck, you're a fuck. I hate you, you fuck.